Welcome friends in the discussion on research methodology. In the series of discussion on research methodology, this video is on types of research design. There are various types of research design. This video is on descriptive research design. In descriptive research design, a researcher observes and describes the behavior of subjects. When he describes and observes the behavior of subject, he does not influence the object. Descriptive research design describes anything. For example, demographic characteristics of consumers are being described by a researcher. While describing the demographic characteristics of consumers, researcher is not going to influence consumers. Social scientist, psychologist, management researcher observe the behavior of object and they do not influence the object. Sometimes companies may be interested to know the response of sales promotion tools on prospects. It is a kind of situation in which companies may have launched some sales promotion tools and company is interested to know the response from the side of prospects. Similarly, company may be interested to know the behavior of employees in case of a specific context. Maybe a company has launched some incentive tools for employees and now the company is interested to know the response of employees. There are two methods of descriptive research design. First, case research design and second is statistical design or quantitative design. We will discuss it one by one. The first method of descriptive research design is case research design. In case research design, researcher tries to have an insight in a particular situation. There might be several problems or events or situation in which researcher is trying to have some conclusion or understanding or explanation and for that, researcher tries to collect detailed analysis of those problem, events or situation. Now the question is how a case is developed by a researcher. There are four steps that is to be followed by a researcher. First, data collection. Second, organization of data. Third, narrative of case study. And fourth, validation of narrative. For example, a company which has a successful marketing strategy for an entire region. Maybe some part of the region is not responding well. With sleeping sales data, company is having in a particular situation that has to be sorted out. Now the researcher will develop a case and it will collect the data of particular problem, organize the data accordingly in a chronological order and a particular narrative of a case study with its validation. For example, sleeping cells of a particular marketing strategy with the same failing strategy of different companies can be linked to validate the narrative. The second method to conduct descriptive research design is statistical design or quantitative design. Under statistical design or quantitative design, Quantification of relationship between different variables are conducted. Variables like weight, age, time, performance, etc. are quantified. For example, marketers are interested to know many things before they launch a product. Maybe they have different bunch of products and they want to know the reaction of prospects with a bunch of products with respect to B bunch of products. There are two ways to conduct statistical design. The first is longitudinal analysis and second is cross-sectional analysis. Both of these will be discussed one by one. In longitudinal analysis, information is collected from a fixed sample on continuous basis. For example, an advertiser is interested to know the effectiveness of a particular advertisement on a fixed audience. And now, under longitudinal analysis, audience would be fixed and effectiveness of advertisement on several parameters will be tested on different times. But the thing is that the audience is the same. So that is why it is known as longitudinal analysis in which sample is fixed. In this case, audience is fixed but you will have information you will 
assess the effectiveness of advertisement at different times. Contrary to longitudinal analysis, cross-sectional analysis conducts data at one specific time. It is popular in psychology, social science, or education. In cross-sectional analysis, researcher observes many characteristics like age, gender, and income. For example, when you have to study the response of advertisement of two age group at a single point of time. In this case, you are studying two samples at a particular point of time. So friends, this video was on descriptive research design. If you like this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe my channel to get the notification of my latest videos.